Hello everyone, today we have a combo video. We have the Alcal email worm along with the SecDown Microsoft Word macro virus. So this is not like Melissa, a 1999 macro virus that also spread via email all from one infected Word document. This is actually a separate exe that also happens to overwrite your Word documents, PDFs, and text files with copies of itself. It also overwrites HTML, so I've got my super cool website here on the desktop, and I sure hope nothing bad happens to it, because I put a lot of time and effort into this. And similarly, I have my term paper here, so I'm just really hoping that nothing bad happens to either of these two items that I've poured my heart and soul into. So we're going to go ahead and run it. Oh, well, real quick, right before that, I want to show you, in this normal uninfected Word document, Macro security is set to high, so this does not allow macros to run. It must ask you and does not let them auto run. Normally when I do macro virus videos, I turn that off so they can activate right away. Let's go ahead and run sec down. So called because it has a routine that turns your Microsoft Word security down. So here in this document, we'll see still set to high, but we have an embedded sexsound.exe so well, let's see what am I looking at this is just formatting where it is on the word document thanks word so I don't know what this is but I'm curious to hear sexsound.exe I'm a precocious internet user from the 90s or early 2000s I think this worm came out in 2002 so let's see what this is all about uh oh, Clippy's talking to me. You are about to activate an embedded object that may contain viruses or be otherwise harmful to your computer. It is important to be certain that it is from a trustworthy source. Do you want to continue? Wow, I've never heard Clippy be so eloquent. Uh, yes, I do wish to continue. So the floppy disk drive is act accessed. Uh, we have some emails sent. And if we take a look here in the Windows directory, you can see we have services.txt, scheduled log.txt, script.document. Uh, like I said, this worm will go through and overwrite all file types that are text files, PDFs, Word documents, rich text files. Uh oh, we see 132 hllp syra.b by Alco Paul. You've been hit by, you've been struck by the smooth criminal. Ah, well, that does not sound good. And this Alcopol is where the worm gets its name from antivirus vendors. It becomes Alcol. Hit OK. Uh, that disappeared. The icon changed. That's never a good sign. Uh, nothing seems to have happened to these. Yeah, these text files are still good for now. Let's look at our Outbox. So it is trying to send emails. So it's sending it to all of your contacts, subjects, sounds of sex, and other stuffs. Hear me and my girlfriend moan. We spent yesterday's night having sex. I've also included a list of haiku, a cool talking screensaver, and a link to a site offering cheap ecstasy pills. Enjoy. Wow. Talk about just a smorgasbord of awesomeness. What more could you want? Sex, drugs, and haiku. A winning combination for any Friday night. Well, let's check the haiku. This is the only actual text file. I want to open it. So we got a collection of haiku, dried marijuana, and my grandfather's old pipe, tears in my red eyes, condoms in the bag, a lustful stare from your eyes in the girl's restroom. Neat. The others are all executables, just containing the alcohol worm. So we have sexsounds.wave, which is actually an exe. If you click on it, you see that it's actually a hidden extension here. Uh, this is a .com file trying to pretend to be a website, but this is just an MS-DOS application. It'll run just the same as an exe will in Windows and infect your machine. And the cool talking screensaver. So this is an actual screensaver, but once again, SCR is just an executable file format and will run the worm. So if you're on any of these, you will infect your PC once again. So I'm just going to close out of this. And now I'm going to come back in the Windows directory because I did not see all this stuff get overwritten like I was expecting. All right, so I didn't see anything super obvious. Um, I'm just going to get out of this. No, I don't want to change the uh, save the changes. Sorry, Clippy. Is my term paper still OK? Yeah, it's still working. That's good. 
I can still graduate from college. But I notice here on the desktop we have mail me. If I click on this, it opens a new mail to alcopaul at cannabismail.com, which is apparently the worm author. So he's offering you just a little line to drop a note directly to him. How very gutsy. All right, let's get out of this. Uh, no, I don't want to save the changes. I also see free triple X passwords. Okay, let's check it out. All right, so we're opening up. This seems to be taking quite a long time. There must be a lot of passwords in this Word document. I can't wait. You know, I mentioned Melissa before. That one also spread through a list of triple X website passwords. Why is Clippy talking to me? We was up doc you have so many document files in your hard drive better remove some wow that does not sound good uh the only button is okay and more disk activity that's never a good sign if we look in windows now clippy excuse me you need to get out of the way i notice a lot more word documents especially dot text dot doc word documents in here but I'm curious, with security on, how could this Word document have done anything? Oh. Oh no. That's not good. So as it turns out, sec down, the Word virus, actually comes about from a registry key here called winword.reg, which the worm, the email worm portion, will modify the registry with. So if we take a look at what this is doing, it's actually resetting your Microsoft Word security level for macro viruses to the lowest possible value, which allows the macros contained in here to run immediately and infect the global template and then overwrite all of your Word, PDF, and text documents. Wait a minute. What about my super cool website? That can't be good. Uh-oh. It's taking a while. It's not a good sign. I don't like this. Oh no, that's not my website. Hello, click here to start. And we can see it's pointing to a EXE on the drive, which is of course the worm. If I click this, I want to run it. If we look in the outbox, oh, I see it sends itself again. Yeah, I want it. I don't care if it cannot be uh, determined. Let's go. So run it again, we hear the disk drive, and yet another email is sent out. So your friends would probably be pretty tired of you sending out sounds of sex and other stuff with links to ecstasy websites and all that crap. Clippy, get out of here. I don't even know what that Word document was doing. Alright, we're getting out of my website. What about my term paper? Let's open it up. It's taking a long time. I don't like this. Uh-oh. That's not my term paper. I can't turn this in. Pretty sure I'll fail the class if my professor gets his stuff infected. Another thing I've noticed with this worm is everything just slows to a crawl. So once again, Clippy's up in my face, being a little smarty pants, telling me, what's up, doc? Better remove some. That's just not right. Clippy, I don't like you as it is. And now it's frozen, so he's stuck here just staring at me like a little menace. Look, he's just mocking me. Oh, there we go. All right, we got rid of him. There's at least that. So if we come into macro now, we can actually see the two macros. We have document open and haha. -ha. I want to see what haha -ha does. So we can see here the Word document also contains code to write that registry keys. It says Microsoft Word needs this file. Don't attempt to delete it. it comes in a winword.bat in the startup directory so it will run when the system reboots so sec down and alcohol are working in tandem why are you accessing my floppy disk drive again anyway they're working in tandem through multiple means trying every possible method they can come up with to infect your PC let's scroll on down here so here's the uh, assistant new balloon what's up doc what no get out of here what where okay Stuff is running on its own. This worm is just having a lot of fun on my system. And I don't like it. So I'm going to scroll on down and see if anything just jumps out at me. So here we go. So text.wri or PDF. You get the file. You copy itself over and delete the original file. 
we do this for all folders and all subfolders and we end it doc doctor by alco paul so alco paul becomes alcohol and then doc doctor becomes sec down short for security down because that's literally what happens here so once your system is this thoroughly infected i mean you lose all your most important things it's not a data destroyer in terms of exes or critical windows files none of that gets touched but even the windows log files aren't safe like tips.txt just loads up clippy being a little jerk again yeah, all of this stuff is all just support.txt.doc i mean it's been overwritten services.txt script.doc this isn't good you can't run a si get out of here i don't like you cannot run a system like this and now we're frozen again because this worm is just hogging all the system resources for itself what a jerk you know when i was testing this this used to keep opening up some um i can't remember what the free web hosting site was but it kept trying to open that up and download a file called update.exe which i'm sure was some form of key logger or something along those lines even the love letter worm from 2000 did the same thing you know i love you it would also try and download a key logger but that only worked for about an hour after the original infection started and i'm sure this is exactly the same way the powers that be running these free hosting websites are usually pretty quick about taking down malware like this. I'm going to see if I can find, or at least try to get it to uh, show me that. So we have DNS, get out of here. No, I don't want to save the changes. Get out of here. DNS error 1.html. Does this just say click here to download or whatever? I'll bet it does. Yep, okay, click here to start. Um, let's try running the screensaver version. I'm sure we get more emails. We have a nice little uh, icon cursor. We'll run the ecstasyrus.com. See what happens. Nothing good, I'm sure. I'll go Paul. Well, I've run all this stuff, and nothing's happening. So I guess we'll be here for a little while. I heard the disk drive again. But now, nothing at all is happening. Oh, it's still going. Uh, oh, now we're frozen. Goody. Really appreciate that alcohol. Oh, here we go. Infected by Sira. So is that what the worm author was referring to themselves as? Maybe. It's impossible to say. Get out of here. So infected by Sira. So this is the calling card left on your drive just to tell you how screwed you really are. The reason why your machine's acting so funny and all of your documents are gone is right here because of Sira. What a jerk. Everything about this is just horrendously bad it's so rude and I don't like it even closing word is a tremendously difficult task for this computer and it shouldn't be this hard this thing's got a Pentium 2 you never need anything more than that alright well I think I've exhausted just about all I can say about this worm I really wish that website that it tries to open would have popped up but it doesn't seem like it wants to do that this time. Which, you know, malware on camera never works quite the same way as it does when I'm testing it. I wonder if I can get through this whole outro before Word closes. So, I really appreciate you being here. Oh, this task is taking longer than expected. You want to continue waiting? I'm just trying to close the window. What choice do I have but to continue waiting? What if I say no? Will you just close? Oh, awesome! Wow, I can't believe that worked. It's nice to end this video on a high note. That really tickled me just right. So, thank you all for joining me. That is about it for the Alcal email worm and the sec down Microsoft Word macro virus. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.